the deliberations there again were uh, useful for the working group uh, meeting wherein a consensus was being generated to ensure that we have an institutional mechanism to ensure that there is better collaboration amongst academic institutions in the G20 countries to also ensure that there is a better or a smoother movement of faculty and students to facilitate this type of research. Now the third one which is happening in Bhuvaneshwar which is there next week has a very important uh, topic on future of work which has a great traction from all the G7 uh, countries. This initiative is being led by the co-chair Mr. Atul Kumar Tiwari, Secretary Skill and which a lot of activities have been planned and I think he will elaborate uh, uh, in greater detail uh, when I request him later. But the focus here was to see that how educational institutions, if it is from the higher education side, need to align themselves to keep in pace with what industry and what society requires. What is the type of curriculum, what is the pedagogy that we need to decide to ensure that our students are well prepared for the challenges as well as the opportunities that future of work will provide in the years to come. Bhuvaneshwar being a place where we have many academic research institutions is an ideal place to discuss what type of research is happening in which sector and to see how these all these areas can be aligned towards a discussion for better cooperation among G20 countries. The last workshop uh, is going to happen in uh, Pune, which is focused on uh, foundational literacy and numeracy, which again, I think is amongst the four topics, high, has the highest place of interest and traction, and the uh, work as well as the dialogue that is happening in that, that front seems to have a great resonance amongst all the G20 countries towards committing themselves to work towards. On 26th, as uh, Mr. Murthy was saying, we have this seminar on the uh, building capacities for lifelong learning in the context of the future of the work. And we have also organized a future of work exhibition, which will run from April 23rd to April 28th. Uh, this will be a theme is on the future of work, which is a kind of a side event on the third education working group. Uh, it is that it is placed at the CSIR IIMT grounds in Bhubaneswar. We have around 34,000 square feet exhibition area with almost 100 stalls, plus stalls are there. And these will be representation from industry, uh, academia, civil society, government, etc. And uh, all of this will focus on different aspects of future of work and converging into a central idea of how we perceive work, workforce, worker from the prism of, uh, what should I say, uh, emerging technologies with the unprecedented and accelerated space. We also expect a uh, uh, footfall of thousands of visitors to this experience. And this uh, exhibition also focus on future of manufacturing, future of governance, future of learning, inclusive growth, uh, live demos and immersive experiences, uh, leveraging interactive walls, holographic displays, AR, VR solutions, 3D printing, assistive technologies, etc. On the uh, so this this will run on from the 22nd uh, onwards till uh, 28th as a side event of the G20, which will enable the students, academia, and industry to immerse themselves into the future of work concept. Uh, on, uh, on the seminar on the deep tech, uh, we are having a panel discussion on uh, India's prospects in global semiconductor ecosystem, uh, the world of digitalization, focusing on automation, and deep tech, digital first future. We also have one session on new age startups with focus on deep tech, deep tech uh, companies. In class 8 to 8, 6 to 8, basically hands-on experience of a sampling of important vocational crafts so in a joyful way how children can learn. And what we are trying to do is to, we are trying to create skill hubs. So one school would act as a hub and other schools would attach itself with those schools, uh, the, that school like a spoke. So that we are in the process of introducing. We have uh, prepared a small write-up for you to give you a brief introduction of what is being done and through 
uh, the PIB would release it after this conversation has taken place. And also, I think another topic which we are talking of uh, during the Bhubaneswar Education Working Group is equipping children with a range of future skills to set them on a course of lifelong learning. And as was mentioned by Mr. Murthy, that uh, the fourth education working group, which is slated to be held in Pune, the theme is foundational learning and numeracy, foundational literacy and numeracy. So FLN, perhaps, if, if there is going to be a lifelong learning, then the bedrock has to be good. And this is a time when children get into school that is from the age of three to age of nine. Mr. Murthy talked about Nipun Bharat. So the foundational literacy and numeracy is the most important part and we shall be deliberating on it in detail at Pune. But that is the most important part. If that takes off, then the lifelong skilling will come on a very solid platform. And if this platform is not that good, then I guess everything beyond gets impacted by it. So I think as of now, the most important uh, part of operationalizing NEP with us today is to introduce FLM in the most concerted manner. So this is some of the things we need to say and I need to say and I will uh, give you a brief on uh, vocational education. Actually, you can release it to them. Thank you.